In Kenya, donkey racing is popular in another UNESCO heritage site, Lamu. Residents of the Kenyan archipelago are preparing for the Lamu Cultural Festival in November. CGTN's Mohamed Abubakar has been speaking with the owner of the current champion of the island's donkey race. Let's take a look. At over seven centuries old, Lamu Island is amongst the oldest inhabited Swahili townships in East Africa. And in 2001, the World Heritage Committee inscribed Lamu Old Town on the UNESCO World Heritage List. Due to the island's very narrow pathways and alleys, the only form of transportation within the town is by donkey. Donkeys to Lamu are a must. They must be protected, they must be looked after. Without donkeys, there's no life because they transport our building materials. They transport the agricultural produce from the interior of the island into the city. The town usually holds an annual cultural festival organized to celebrate Lamu's rich culture and history. And in the festival's lineup is a unique sport. Lamu is actually hosting the biggest donkey race in the world. You only look at a donkey and you say, that's a donkey. But to us, that's not a donkey, that's a BMW, Mercedes-Benz, because it's a bigger one, faster, stronger, and we rest them. The donkey race has risen in popularity, attracting sponsors for the races in recent years, with winners getting heavily rewarded. In last year's race, the winner got 1,000 U.S. dollars and an air ticket courtesy of a local airline that sponsored the event. Mohamed Alamin is a local businessman and has invested a lot in donkeys. He owns over 70 donkeys in Lamu, most of which are used for transportation. He also happens to be the owner of the current donkey race champion in town, Rashford. Since I bought this donkey for racing, he has been unbeaten. He has returned way more money than I paid for him. We've even opened an account for him. Right now, he has over 2,000 US dollars in his account, just from winning different races. So I asked Alamin and his team, how do they manage to keep Rashford competitive? It is very important that our racing donkeys are always healthy. So that means a healthy diet. We try as much as possible to avoid giving them food that bloats their stomach because that hinders them from training effectively. Away from the diet, there is also rigid physical training. Every morning Rashford and his rider, 15-year-old Haitham Hussein, go for a run along the seafront before they put him through a light swimming session. For young riders like Haitham, participating in the race means more than just the cash reward. What I love about donkey racing is the fame. For instance, since I've been winning with Rashford, everywhere I go, people call out his name and also congratulate me for riding well. It is now very clear that the festival's most popular event involves the island's most endearing symbol, the donkey race. And throughout the year, Rashford and hundreds of other donkeys are being thoroughly trained in order to get that prestigious title of being the fastest donkey in town. Mohamed Abubakar for CGTN, Lamu, Kenya.